So we're getting towards the end of the second week with the second group of students. You can see this is quadrant two coming along very nicely now. Um, we're getting right down onto the, the mound or the, the revetment. You can see it, it does seem to have survived a bit better than in the quadrant one, but again, it's still not a very organized looking uh, structure. Um, you know, it's not nicely coursed, it's not in uh, particularly good looking shape. The building in the centre is looking a bit nicer. It's uh, a bit more stonework surviving of this wall. I mean, it still needs a lot of clean cleaning to be done. But uh, you can see that there. And of course the inside, we've got a bit of, bigger bit of that visible now. You can see there's quite a lot of stone lying on the interior as well. Um, but yeah, we're quite happy with how that's looking. It, it, it's looking more like a proper building now. Uh, this this top this top feature. And one nice thing, you'll remember we were saying we thought these two upright stones were probably the entrance to the porch. Well, now we've got a fairly clear-looking threshold stone has turned up, marking that division between the outside and the inside. And what's really pleasing about that is that's a stone that was noticed in the um, the 1950s by the Megalithic Survey of Ireland, um, but we've never seen it. Now, we did just find a little piece of blue and white pottery very close to here, so we're wondering if we've got Sean O'Newland's teacup. Um, <laughs> that's just possible, because that, they may well have had a rummage, pulled up a bit of turf to see that. I'm not sure, but, you know, it's quite far down. So, well, we'll see. Anyway, that's that's quadrant uh, two. You going to give me a smile? Yeah. They're fairly tired, I think.